Aaron Bryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with Rob Broughton. He's going to be taking on Travis Brown at UFC 135. We're here at the Muscle Farm training facility in Denver, Colorado. i got to say, this is pretty much the most awesome training place I've ever seen. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, I've never seen anything like it. It's like uh, amazing. So I'm made up with Muscle Farm when this training here. Uh, it has helped us a lot here. The condition. This was excellent. Well, we should say, obviously, you're a Wolf Slayer guy. Uh, obviously, you're English. What was your What was your training like until you got over here? I mean, how long have you been here in Denver? What was your training like at home? Uh, I've been in Denver. I've been seven weeks in Denver. Okay. Uh, training back home was just like down the normal gym. Keep me running up. Uh, my jiu-jitsu, mm -hmm. my wrestling, uh, boxing. Just not the same old. Yeah. But when I come here, it's just everything's here in one place. Right. Uh, we're even living here, which is uh, a bit mad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it a bit insane. <laughs> uh, but this is excellent. So you, you've seen the facilities. It's just brilliant. Yeah. So what do you think of your fight with Travis? I know last time I saw Travis, it was right after he knocked out Stefan Struve. And um, that was a huge win for him. I, he was very excited about it. But it also kind of put him in a, you know, stepped him up in the, in the division. So what do you make of your fight with him strategy-wise and, and also what it's going to do for you in, in, in getting you recognition? Yeah, me, uh, Travis is a good fighter, no doubt about it. He's a, I think both of us uh, know how to fight. That's one thing we are going to bring. I think it's going to be a good, uh, a good hitting session. <laughs> but uh, if I beat Travis, it will send me up there and the same with Travis, but fingers crossed, uh, I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling good. I trained hard, I trained proper hard since my injury. Uh, I've got lots of fight for as well, so let's bring it on now. Nice, well we should back up a little bit. This is your second fight for the UFC. Yeah. So your first fight, uh, if you can talk about that and then yeah, and then yeah. The, yeah, what happened after? Uh, I fought uh, Quiz, Oz, Quiz Oz, I can't really pronounce <laughs> his name, sorry about that, but uh, he was like, from Shootbox, mm -hmm. he's a stand-up fighter. He had some good wins. Another tall guy, so he, I think he's about six foot eight, six foot nine. Wow! And you're so, how tall? I'm only six foot two. I'm a bit of a midget. Only, only <laughs> six <laughs> two. Compared to some of these guys. Yeah, yeah. Stefan Struve and yeah, he's yeah. yeah and Travis, tall. Travis. Yeah, Travis before. is big. But uh, I trained hard for him. Uh, I, I had a few problems in that camp, but I still come out on top at the end. I did my shoulder in the fight as well. Yeah. But I, I, won, I beat him in the third round by submission, so uh, I got a good ground game. Nice. But you hurt your shoulder after, and so you've yeah. been out for a little while. Yeah, I had surgery on my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's going all right. Very nice. Was it like a rotator thing, or? Uh, I tore my labrum off. So. Uh, that doesn't sound good. No, it wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> and did you feel it? I mean, how did you? What were you doing when it happened? Uh, I, to be honest with you, I can't really remember the fight. Yeah. If you ask old fighters, sometimes it's just a bit. I think, oh, I can't remember how it, how it happened. You just, you know, once you're in there, yeah. you're in for a fight. Yeah. So, uh, but was, I think it was at one point I threw a punch or something, or he stepped out, or I'm not really 100% yeah. sure. Well, you could watch the footage of it, you know, and you could probably figure it out <laughs> if you wanted to. I know that'd be a little gruesome, uh, but <laughs> yeah, not so much. No. <laughs> oh, well, you talked about the fact that you know that you and Travis will get out there and, and you expect it to be a, a throwdown fight, but. For folks who don't know you, since you are sort of still building your name in the UFC, what you know, what should we look for with you? What do you think? Well, your nickname is the Bear, but but what do, what should we know about you going going in here, and what should we be looking for? Well, I've got a good ground game. Uh, I've won a lot of grappling competitions back home and yep. other places. Uh, I've done well in judo competitions. Uh, I don't think there's I don't think there's many people in the UFC who are as tough as me. I mean, I do. That's one thing I've got. I am tough. Yeah. And, uh, good chin? Yeah, very good chin. <laughs> oh, <touch> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and you touch wood, that's hilarious. You've been training here with Rampage. I'm, I'm guessing that he would have tested the chin a few oh, times. Oh, yeah, he's tested the chin a few <laughs> times, yeah. And uh, a few of the fellows, yeah, have tested yeah. it. But no, uh, I feel confident. I've got good boxing skills. I've still got a lot to learn. Yeah. I think Travis is the same as well, but uh, I'm sure we're probably an excellent fighter. And you're how old? Uh, 29. 29. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you got time to get your groove and yeah, yeah very nice. And so, what have you have? Uh, how, how has your camp been with Rampage been? I know you know he's been talking about how he's in the best shape of his life, and we spoke to him earlier. He seems very relaxed. He seems to be in a great headspace. What was the camp like though for the last seven weeks? Yeah, Rampage is in a good uh, good place. Uh, it's probably the best. I've, I've done a few camps with Rampage, where he's come back to the UK and that. I think this is definitely one of the best camps he's uh, definitely done. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, his hand speed at the minute, 
it's, it's fast. Yeah. And uh, yeah, everybody knows you it's hard. Yeah. I can tell you it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we've had an excellent time. When it's come down to hard work, we do our hard work. It comes down to having a bit of a play about. We have a bit of a play about. Uh, Czech Congo is here helping yeah. us as well. And Czech's, uh, Czech's in a minute. Czech's on fire as well. So I think it's brought a good... Uh, Good, good camp together. Nice. And you think? I mean, I know you have to say so because you're on. You're on his team. If you're John Jones, what should you look out for? Oh, I think John Jones is getting knocked out. Really? Yeah. Definitely. Well, we shall see. And what's happening with Travis Brown? How's he going down? Well, Travis Brown. I can. I can tell you one thing about me and Travis Brown. Me and Travis Brown are going to have a proper war, but I'm going to win. Very nice. Very nice. Well, thank you, Rob. Thanks for spending the time with us, and, and best you. of luck to you. Thank you. I'm Rob Broughton, watch MMA eat.